So today in the blog post, I want to talk about some of the new features in Proven that has been present in the past year or so, and about those that are upcoming. I know that many contractors are using Proven for their work order management, and what I noticed is that some don't use all the features that are present in Proven uh, in their online platform. So talking about some of the upcoming new features, uh, one of the new features uh, is the, that is already in production is the repair based integration system. So if you go to any of the projects or in, in, in any of the work order uh, and click on lines, you will see a button called Create Estimate. Uh, clicking this button uh, uh, lets you, uh, and accepting a $10 charge for bid estimates uh, lets you go into Repair Base and architect your own bid through their line items. Uh, once you hit a uh, back to proven, all these bid line items will populate in in the line in this line section in your project, and uh, when uh, when done, you can check them uh, as complete for each line item and process them as an invoice. Uh, this this is kind of great because I know that most nationals like Safeguard, MCS, Asset Shield. They do want uh, they do want their contractors to run uh, run their bids through repair base. So having this integrated system uh, for uh, in proven uh, lets you do all this work, all the bit work in 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 one platform instead of having to have a separate repair base account for uh, of your own. Other things that are coming in is a total. You uh, user interface facelift in in the Proven online account. Uh, this will change the design of Proven Direct and make it more user friendly and easier to navigate. Uh, also, uh, also coming in is uh, increased usability with tours for functionality and walkthrough of integration pages. Uh, that will make new customer get new customers get more more familiarized with the system. Uh, how this works is that you you have this new button called What's New, and if you haven't checked that out, just click on it, and you will have a lot of videos that are basically walkthroughs of how to navigate through the uh, pr through the pr proven uh, online uh, online platform and through their mobile app. Okay. So there's just a few videos now, I guess, but uh, more would be upcoming. So that's what uh, that's how uh, the increased tours for usability and, and functionality would come in. Okay, and lastly, uh, you will in the future also have the option for multiple project invoicing, which will let you invoice multiple work orders at the same time. So if you have a lot of work orders where you're supposed to invoice. Uh, for the same amount, let's say 20 snow removal work orders, where all of them, you know, you basically charge the same amount for for the snow removal, you can invoice all these light items at the same time. Uh, the one of the other thing that has already been in in place for for uh, like uh, for the last one year or more. Is uh, the ability to financial uh, uh, financial data tracking, and what that is is that you know if you go to to you know uh, in the projects and go to the li line page, you will notice that now you are able to add invoice line items for all the work that is being done in 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 this in this work order in this project. So let's say you have a uh, uh, trip charge. You're you're gonna or you're gonna remove snow. You remove the snow in this work order, so you can just click remove snow. And uh, you can just add the the amount that you're gonna pay to your crew, your contractor, which which is the cost, and how much you're gonna 
uh, get paid from your client, which is the price, right? So, and then just click on add line. So that's it. So when you do this, what happens is that in in your in your uh, project tab, if you bear right, uh, far right, you will see that there there's two columns for uh, cost total and price total. So you will be able to view what's the total cost, uh, uh, which is how much you're gonna pay your, con your how much you're gonna pay in total uh, for for a particular work order, and how much uh, you're gonna get paid in total from your client for this work order. So you can see that in the in your project tab. Okay. Uh, also now so once you you know once you do invoice start invoicing all the uh, all the work orders you do want to have an ability to uh, run reports on your total revenue of the month or your total costs of the month how much your your total in, in you're paying in total to your contractors right so that can be done through reports tab this report button just click on report launcher and click, click uh, select a report, go to project billing. So once you go to project billing, what you can see is like you can uh, run a report from a particular start date to a particular end date uh, for, state for work orders that are sa say uh, in status complete and then see what's your total cost and what's your what's your total revenue once you click on run report. Uh, through the accounts account tab, if you go to invoice items, you can come over here where you can l add auto invoice line items. So let's say click on new, select snow removal. So what's the default cost? How much you're gonna pay on uh, re uh, your? Uh, uh, how much you're gonna pay for your to your contractors for for snow removal? And what's the default price? What's the normal allowable for for this work that you get paid from your contractor uh, from your clients, right? Uh, so you can if and once you hit save, what happens is that uh, these line items can auto populate in 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 uh, in the work order just selects you know just let's say there is a line item for trip charge and you just select trip charge the price auto comes up right at line um, so the quantity is required or let's say if you have snow removal uh, just see it, it just comes up you select it, the price is there, it auto populates add. Uh, so it just comes out over here. So this is kind of a very good feature, right? And if you just hit, uh, you just gotta hit complete when you save so that they come as invoices uh, in the, uh, uh, in when you run your reports, okay, and save on, and click on save project. Uh, but you know, sometimes let's say for not all nationals will uh, pay you the same amount for for a particular work or a particular invoice line item. Let's say Safeguard pays you twenty five dollars for trip charge, or NCS pays you twenty dollars, and some other clients might pay you just fifteen or ten dollars, right? So you can do this by further configuration. Um, there's this uh, option called matching configuration, and you can add configurations. What you just need to do is like in the reference section add which national it is for, uh, safeguard or MCS, then w how much do they pay, right, on and or how much the contractor is going to pay for this work order. And once you save that, in, in the safeguard work orders, uh, the invoice line item would co populate as $25, but in MCS, the invoice would come up as $20. Right, so for their being able to configure depending upon which client um, uh, you're working for, uh, or if it's an FHA or if it's an FNMA, what's the loan type? So all these things you can configure through this section. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing that's there is like in the notes section, now you can add PDFs, attach PDFs to your notes. Uh, how what this how this really helps you is that oftentimes you do have to you know give a PDF to your contractor for to read or to fill it up right and maybe before you used to like email this email the PDF if um, because you did not have that option to add the PDF uh, add uh, add it in in proven and for your contractor to download but now you can just attach this to your notes section and let's say it's a it's a checklist or it's some instructions, PDF instructions that you want your contractor to read. You can just attach them and then give a note and then add note and uh, and also s uh, select v visibility level like who do you want this to uh, to you know to uh, for for uh, who do you want this to be seen by? Like do you want is it for the crews? Is it for your admin? Is it for your staff? You can just select that and add note. And you know, uh, you'll find that uh, that uh, uh, that that uh, your crew or whoever needs that attachment will be able to read it just from from proven or from the project. Next, um, oftentimes you know when you're uploading of uploading all this all this uh, photos. You do want sometimes to have uh, a PDF report all of, all of all these photos, right? And that can be done through if you so if you just click on on on, on the photos, just right click or left click them. So you will have the option. You will op have the option to come up or come in the uh, in the photo section of the work order, and then click on generate report, which will. Uh, make you um, uh, which will uh, download a PDF report of all the photos that are present um, this is very useful like because say for not only this this is something that you want you yourself want sometimes to review the photos you also um, uh, some of the clients that you that we do work for let's say single source does want the photos as a PDF in, in PDF format just kind of like this so it's just one click to download a, a download a PDF report and upload it to single source, making your things so much easier. Um, apart from this, um, I'm pretty sure you got you already know, but I just want to still say that Proven also offers real time visibility. Uh, from the field and and real time photo upload. So what this is is that from uh, Proven's mobile app, it continuously sends photo results and status signals from the device in the field to the online account. There is no downtime in the app for connecting or uploading. This feature of Proven helps to get results faster than mobile apps of PPW. Uh, property press wizard and many contractors have mentioned that in rural areas Mo Proven's mobile app helps to relay the photos much much faster than any other softwares and that's not all uh, due to office admin being able to see the photos in real time uh, you know your office or uh, office uh, manager or your assistant um, they are able to monitor and QC the the photos as they come in, and I, you know if there's m something missing, they can uh, call the call the contractor right on when he's on the field to ask for those missing information. Uh, this kind of eliminates the need for return trips or you know uh, missing photo evidences. So that's kind of it for for the small walkthrough. I hope you liked it. I hope that this really helps you a lot um, to uh, to use proven online account uh, in a much more efficient way uh, than before. All right. Have a nice day. Bye.